Hi there. In this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to you can use uh, Exodus Desktop Wallet. All right. Before I get into that, what I would love for you to do is to uh, definitely subscribe and don't forget to click that like button. All right. And um, also click on the notification bell so that you can be able to get notifications in the future on uh, information with reference to investing as well as other um, different types of wallets uh, and other investment opportunities as well All right also you can go to alan anthony official uh, dot com all right at my websites for any of my uh, and click and get registered for any of my educational programs as well all right so let's go so if basically exodus is one of my favorite uh, desktop wallets all right uh, for those of you who do not know there's a lot of new people actually there's a lot of new people into the uh, cryptocurrency space and uh, they are all making the most of them are making the common mistake of uh, registering and purchasing their digital assets on the exchanges and actually leaving them there no uh, the uh, the exchanges are very vulnerable to what you call uh, hacks all right uh, one of the most common experience was that of Mt. Gox, who was the biggest uh, Bitcoin exchange in the world. They had uh, 850,000 Bitcoin, which they had lost all of them. All right. Um, that was a horrible experience for uh, all of the investors who invested into them. And eventually, Mt. Gox filed for bankruptcy. All right. So that is one of the experiences. But of course, there were other uh, cryptocurrency exchanges like Binance who, and, and others who have also gotten hacked. So in order to protect your assets, what I do recommend is that you transfer them into an independent wallet. All right, there is uh, other wallets like hardware wallets, all right, for the more bigger portfolios, uh, you can transfer it onto a hardware wallet. But as a, as a new um, uh, person in the space, you know, with a smaller portfolio, you, I advise that you uh, use this particular one, all right? It has a very, very, very wonderful uh, user interface and there are so many different features that it's really, really amazing. And of course, you can um, be able to get access to other assets without actually having to go to the exchanges, all right? So um, let me explain. So <clears throat> let's go. This was launched in 2015 and uh, they now support over 110 other digital currencies. Plus, they have a mobile app for exchange on the go as well. Their wallet is also private and safe, as they encrypt the private keys on your device for you to see. Plus, there's no registration or verification that you have to go through. And you can manage your crypto in Exodus securely from a Trezor hardware wallet as well. If you're not only downloaded it, you can do so from your website. And it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux as well as mobile apps from the App Store or Google Play. So let's go into the Exodus software wallet. So once you have installed and assigned a password, you'll be presented with a home screen. From here, you can see the portfolio with a pie chart to see how this can be distributed for different types of cryptocurrencies. You can then use these charts for specific time frames, such as the month, six months or a year. And then you got some information with relation to your portfolio. So you get an idea of the 24 hour change to see what your highest balance was. You can see your portfolio age and the best and worst performing assets as well. You also got a list of different assets. You, you see the name, what the current prices are, and, the, and I even have an idea of the 24 hour change. You also see a 30 day trend. You also see your own balance that you have on your cryptocurrency and your portfolio percentage as well. And if you'd like to see from more from the screen, you can add more to cryptocurrencies to kind of track the values. As well, if you scroll up to the top, you can also take a look at all of the transactions right, that you have on all of your portfolios. So just let's take a wallet on the left-hand side. This is where you have all the cryptocurrency wallets so that you can view the balance for that cryptocurrency. And we'll show you that uh, it, it will actually show you the asset currency as well. Under there, you can actually ch check out some price charts like, a, like this one here and check out the price is changing. And you can do that over specific periods of time. Plus, you can also check out the description for that coin. 
So it will give you a brief synopsis uh, about that coin. It just gives you a little bit more information. And underneath all that, you actually have an idea of all the different uh, transactions that you have done for that currency. So from here, you can also send. So you can send your funds from here to, across to another wallet to a, or to an exchange using the Bitcoin address or the QR code here, right? You simply type in the amount of Bitcoin or, or whatever other currencies that you may dis, uh, want to transfer, or you put the value amount or the dollar amount. And before you send it, you want to check out the network fee, which is at the base of the screen. Um, so that, that way you will be able to be familiar with what it would cost to do the transfer. And if you want to receive funds, in here it will show you a receiving address and also your QR code. So if you have fund over on another exchange, for example, this is your wallet address to send it to. Then you have the same repeated uh, information for any of the other cryptocurrencies that you have in your wallet. You can add more different types of cryptocurrencies so that you can be able to see the descriptions and, and uh, determine if you want to purchase and invest into that, those other cryptocurrencies. One of the things is that you, the ability to, to, to view your private keys as well. All right. So basically, um, so you get to view your private keys. All right. So just be aware, displaying your private keys is, very, is extremely harmful. Someone having access to these can actually have access to all of your funds. So what they do is come up with a warning to let you know that uh, that you should, you know that you shouldn't be displaying your private keys, all right. So let's ensure that you keep that secret and private, all right. So once you're sure and there's no one around you, um, you can your, your keys will be shown, all right. If you have some do have some funds over on a Trezor wallet, um, it's very easy to pair your Trezor device onto Exodus wallet. This is actually very very great for managing uh, your assets uh, between your Trezor. Uh, or your hardware uh, wallet uh, over to Exodus wallets. So let's just head over to the Exodus site. As you can see here, there's three simple steps to get started. First of all, you get, you, of course, you get, need to get a Trezor and go ahead and get uh, install your Trezor bridge, which you can do onto the website, right? So I have already installed my Trezor bridge. So what you have to do is go into Exodus wallets and pair your Trezor device. So if you plug in your Trezor device, and enter in your PIN number, you will see that your, your Exodus will automatically find your Trezor device. So you will actually be able to pair the Trezor once again with Exodus, so that way you, you boot your hardware wallet and your Exodus wallet would be combined and actually be merged, all right? So, so it says here that your Trezor uh, is successfully paired, it will let you know of course, now that you have a new device, um, you can actually be able to uh, swap the digital currencies between your desktop wallet and your hardware wallet. All right, so you know what you see that I know I have a new tab with the name of my hardware device and I now have the portfolio information for my hardware device. Once again, it will show me exactly the same information as we had in the original portfolio. So it will provide me with all the different assets it shows me my balances and I can view this by a pie charts again. And as you can see, my the total balance on the top left hand screen now combines the two different types of portfolios together. Now, if you just go down to the settings and under the devices section in here is where you can actually enable the option to automatically detect the treasure. So if your treasure was automatically detected, just ensure that this is switched on. If you just take a look at the exchange on the left hand side, from here you can actually be able, this is the part that I really love um, about this particular wallet that you can actually exchange uh, one cryptocurrency to another. There are so many different types of different cryptocurrencies on, on this particular wallet. So this is actually not the cheapest way to exchange um, your cryptocurrencies, but of course you can, but it's really convenient, all right? Um, the fact is I do recommend if you have to purchase any other assets, exchanges, you will actually be able to uh, go to Binance, uh, CX.io, Coinbase, you can actually uh, exchanges on the exchange, which is actually cheaper. All right. So what I, um, however, there's a lot of assets on here that you may at the point in any point in time decide that you want to purchase or exchange um, one of the one currency to another one. All right. 
So basically, you can put the amount that you would love to exchange from, and and basically you would be able to switch the cryptocurrencies accordingly. All right. So moving on. Basically, um, with this backup system that we have here, that you can actually be able to, if you need to recover your 12 wood recovery fees, freeze, all right, this is something that you need to very, very keep very safe. Uh, uh, write it down, all right, uh, print it and keep it safe, all right, because this is what you would need in the event that you have to uh, use another device to access your desktop wallet, okay? so. So if it is that you also need to transfer funds from another device, this is something that um, you would definitely need to know, okay? So there's some personalization that you can do under the settings where you can actually change your currencies, for example, and you can also change the colors, the background, the textures, the skins for your wallet. Under your help section, there are some help videos, some help desk, Twitter, and some help um, support system as well, right? Uh, I, I sometimes use the Exodus uh, support um, feature here. And um, with, with some of the other wallets, you don't get a prompt response. But I must say, from my experiences, um, I, I, I am very, very pleased with uh, the response that I get uh, from the Exodus wallet team, all right? So you will actually be able to also get notifications and uh, definitely be able to uh, get information and up notifications from the Exodus team as well. All right, so that brings me to the end of the uh, my video on Exodus cryptocurrency wallet. I do highly recommend uh, this wallet, uh, basically in order for you to be able to not only store your assets, but you can, like I said, swap your assets. And of course, the, they are always definitely upgrading from the time I've they have been out in 2015 to today. There has been a lot, a lot of changes. There have also been a lot of cryptocurrencies added onto the exchange as well. Hello and welcome to the new Exodus application platform. Exodus is simplifying how we interact with crypto applications so that we can all reap the rewards of decentralized finance and crypto apps without having to be blockchain geeks. No more having to download separate apps. No more visiting websites that require multiple steps just to send crypto from point A to point B. No more long user manuals or boring video tutorials. If you're still using the old Exodus layout, hop on over to settings. You'll notice a new tab labeled apps. Get in there and flip the toggle on to unlock a new world with crypto applications. Otherwise, just click the plus sign up top to quickly add new apps. Now, there aren't many apps yet, but this is just the beginning. New apps are already being tested and redesigned to build upon the Exodus experience. Let's install these apps and take a quick peek. I'm going to click the Exodus logo in the top left hand corner, which acts as a home button. Here we see the portfolio of our moon landing holdings. Notice the app icons at the top of the window. The first one being the portfolio, which gives you an overview of your holdings and their value, along with asset prices and other real time market details. The second app is the wallet. This is where you can manage your crypto and do things like find your unique address, send crypto to a friend, and stake popular assets like Tezos and Cosmos so you can earn rewards and interest on your crypto holdings. The third app is the exchange app. Exodus was built around the ability to instantly and easily exchange one asset for another with no account signup and directly from your wallet, which means you are always in control of your assets and private keys. Next is Compound Finance where you can earn a high interest rate on your crypto savings. Deposit die with no limits and withdraw anytime. Again, with Exodus, your funds are always under your control. Here we have SportX, the ultimate sports and esports betting app, where you can place instant bets on sports such as football, golf, UFC fights, and even esports like League of Legends. This happens directly from your wallet without having to sign up for an account or give up any personal information. Moving to the right, we see options to view your transaction history, the support section, which has help videos and ways to contact Exodus 24 seven support, settings where you can sync your mobile wallet or set up a Trezor hardware wallet, and the app browser, 
give the new Exodus a spin. All right, so that's being said. All right, thank you very much for viewing. Um, remember, once again, to share this video, uh, click the like button and click the notification bell. All right, in my, uh, I have another video that is coming up, all right, with uh, which I would be recommending five top uh, cryptocurrency, all right, that's really, really brand new on the market. Uh, that will definitely take off uh, possibly to 1000x in 2021 and beyond. All right, so my name is Alan Anthony once again. Remember, you can also visit alanantonyofficial.com, all right, and be and get registered for any of my other my other programs. All right, one of the things that I do highly recommend, a lot of people are not able to uh, purchase Bitcoin or cryptocurrency as they would love to. So there is a, a program whereby you would actually be able to get access to uh, to be able to generate profits and earn cryptocurrency right be, uh, on a daily basis. So that right there is really, really very fabulous. Um, it allows you to build your portfolio really, very quickly. And you have access to over 100 educators and analysts who would actually be giving you the information, you generate your profits, and you can actually um, uh, build your Bitcoin and cryptocurrency portfolio that way. All right. So thank you once again for viewing. I'm Alan Anthony. Uh, looking forward to seeing you on my another video. All right. Thanks. Bye.